Okay, I'm just gonna get started here. So, what I've been doing, last time I streamed Relics of Hyrule Development, I started, I did Lower Castle Exterior. Um, I'll show that off really quick. And now I'm working on the interior. Um, which is a completely separate thing. So here's the exterior of exterior of Lowell Castle. The fences, these random fences are going to be, I'll remove those. Um, they're not going to be here when the thing is actually in use. But there's the the front gate. These will actually be accessible as their own things. Um, and then there's Lowell Castle itself. Um, this is north and this is south and this is the main entrance um, so most of this will be accessible but not like every single possible room um, it's gotten ruined so there will be areas that are blocked off I kind of want to be able to allow access into this tower like if you climb up this way and jump across getting in there that could be interesting. Um, that's what I'm calling the Royal Tower. Um, and then there's all sorts of stuff. I, I drew up a whole <laughs> design for it. Um, and then this is the south area, the southern gate, which is mentioned in the lore. Um, that's inaccessible. But oh, I should probably connect let's see I'm gonna name this door this is little castle entrance connects 
to this door. Rural Castle Entrance Door Int. So then I can connect that to the local castle. Exterior. There we go. Okay. That's all good. Oh, that's right. That. Supposed to be there. So this is the interior. This is the entrance hall um, as it is now. And this section is blocked off. So access to that southern tower is not going to happen. Um, but there will be access to it in kind of a roundabout way because you'll be able to get up here to the balcony and then up to this hallway which leads to it. So I have everything in here. Um, like there will be like a staircase going up this way that kind of loops up to here which then connects to those two sides. So you'll be able to get to the top of this tower and then jump over here and then back here, I made a map of everything, so there's a ballroom back here that's been wrecked. Um, and then this is like the conservatory that's also been wrecked. And then this leads to a theater kind of area. Um, so I'll build that. Or actually, no, that's the throne room. This leads Oh, wait. I think there's a door missing. This leads to the... Th yeah. There's a door that would be right here. But I'll just make, like, a hallway here that goes to the throne room. I might swap these two. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, the theater would be down here. So guards room here, servants quarters over here. So the theater would be here. We'll just keep on building. this and replace it with one of these. Rotate that around like so. And then I'll make a hallway because this is going to lead to the throne room.
think it's this one. Yes. So that one has to be this corner. There's the wall. Large wall, large wall. So we got that. There we go. sense for this to be like there and then the throne itself would be on a platform staircase there we go Safety, safety is important. Well, I don't want to make sure this is OSHA approved. Okay, and then we'll have to have some sort of throne. There's no and there's this. I'd have to recolor it. I'm just surprised that there's no um, there's not that many thrones. Yeah, 
look at the Palace of Kings because I know Palace of the Kings. Upper chair? Oh, okay. They would be in furniture, wouldn't they? Alright, so we got a few different options here. There's this, which is not ideal. There's that. This. That one. That's kind of ridiculous. That could work. Just retexture it. And there's that thing. <laughs> Absolutely ridiculous. It's interesting that the different thrones, Falkreath, they're all the same shape, but they have different colors. And then that one's different. Sovngarde Throne is the most fitting, so I'm going to grab that and I'm going to use different textures. Let's see. I can't see that. Let's just see which one's what's what. Okay, so that's that one. Barrelberry has arrived. Welcome. That's that one. And then this is the rest of it. Okay. I mean, that looks okay. Maybe not the back. Oh. This would make sense. There we go. That's Low Rule's Throne. Yeah. Yep, Pumpkin's got... Oh, <laughs> he has moved position. He was sprawled out before, but now he's... Now he's not. He's with his girlfriend, Lavender Lilac. <laughs> I need to make runners. to make rugs. Something like this one. That later. Um, what I oh. where's the object window? Oh my god! <sighs> Maybe nervous. All right. Let's take a look at banner. Little castle.
there was a better banner, but not you. There was a better banner post. It was like a single anchor point. It wasn't Dwemer. That's why there's a pole. Huh. Well, for now, I'll just do this one. No idea. to put some pews in here. Pew? No. Bench? Oven bench? Yeah, that would do it. different wood texture Listen up um this slats the slats part
go. Alright. Let's re-enable this. I don't think at this point there is nothing that can take a window. Oh. Oh, this that actually extends into shoot. That's extending beyond. So that will have to be destroyed because that would normally go into the next tower. And actually, none of that would be accessible. All right, well. <laughs> um, <laughs> I got a little overzealous, I guess. That's too bad. The throne room's really cool. I guess maybe I could... I could move it. Because... I could switch it over here. Do that. Okay, put that there. And then barely fits so it would have to be like right here unless I just keep it in that tower that is the royal tower so let's just keep it in there oh you know what Let's align it with the tower. Okay, there's an idea. Okay. Um, nope. Do that again. We're gonna take. Look, we're gonna take this whole thing. No. All right. First things first. Duplicate that. Set it aside. Set it aside. Thank you. Take this. What am I even selecting over there? Oh, it's a hallway piece. Okay. I'm going to take that and How much is this tilt? Ooh, don't want that. You. Creation kit, why do you do this? <laughs> Why are you like this creation kit? <sighs> All right. Um Well, now I know where it's going to go. So while we're waiting for Creation Kit to recover from its insanity, I'm going to continue working on these. Uh, Nip tools. Trunk merge. This 
und dann is colossal. Okay, so this one isn't. It was embiggened, but it wasn't converted. Of this one. This one was not embiggened. Alright, I'm going to go through and embiggen all of these. Again. Wow. Is it possible to do like a tab kind of thing? Okay. Okay. Oh, well, thank you for the raid, and Amber Yi, Amber Yi. <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing that, but thank you for the raid, and welcome everybody from the raid. Um, I'm working on a couple of things in Relics of Hyrule for Skyrim. Um... Waiting for Creation Kit to load so I can actually work on stuff. But one thing I'm working on is Lodal Castle. And then I'm also working on uh, Minish stuff. So, like, I'm making all this mundane, these mundane objects and making them bigger so that they'll make it look like you're small. Yeah, I, well, yeah, it looks like, yeah, I don't think you have ever chatted, but either way, welcome and thank you. Doing thrilling work right now, inflating cheese wheels. <laughs> what is. Oh, it's already loaded. Cool. Okay, so we're gonna work on this. Creation kit crashed, and so I have to start over with what I was doing. I was working on the interior of Low Rule Castle, and I had built the throne room. But then the creation kit crashed, and oh man, I have to rename this door. I think there's only one door. Oh, yeah, it's. There's a lot of games that I. Um, a lot of games that, you know, you play them for a while and then. And runs out the the steam runs out um so that's no biggie but i'm glad that you played the mod oh there's two load doors i don't have to find the, the right one actually you know what i should do oh well too late <laughs> i'm also glad that you made use of my videos i'm trying to make more of those so that people can um, follow along, which reminds me, I need to fix one of the hint notes that I recently added.
this is the balcony. Good evening, welcome. We we're working on Low Rule Castle. Creation kit crashed right before you arrived. <laughs> so you haven't missed much. said <laughs> you're crashing the stream <laughs> oh boy oh that's the interior here there we go rotate that around okay so this is the interior of low rule castle thus far i just need to zoom out and Disable that so we can actually see it. Um, so, so far I just have um, entrance. Southern part is kind of wrecked. And then this area, and then you can go into the conservatory and like the, the, the baths and kind of the storage area. I think the storage area is blocked off. No, it's not. You can go into the storage. And then I was originally going to make this lead to... I actually need to make that change again because it was lost to time. But this is gonna this one right here is gonna go to like a theater kind of area, but I also need to stop it. I also just need to make sure that it's like gonna work. They're gonna fit in the castle. They might not. And then I made a throne room, but then creation kit crashed, so I'll have to remake the throne room. All right, let's see here. All right, so a theater, we can make a theater fit. It would just be like, well, maybe, I think what I'll do, because this will be a small guard room these two are like that's like servants quarters so that'll be wrecked and then this go to a little room for guards and then I guess we could have a little theater here but I'm also thinking that maybe we just don't and just leave this alone uh, actually no we'll leave that there and I'll make a normal hallway for it, but I will just kind of wreck it with rubble. go. It's not quite blocked off. Now I think it is. Perfect. And that actually looks cool coming out of there like that. Okay. Rubble piece, rubble pile ceiling. Where's the floor? 
floor raised. There it is. And then I'll need a, a free wall. That's just a window. Don't need that. Free wall. There we go. Nice. Cool. Okay. Um, so this will lead to like a staircase that goes up. And then I'm going to try to rebuild the. Uh, let me see how this is tilted. Um, this is 16, 16, negative 16, negative 16, 256. I don't think that's relevant. So negative 16, negative 16. Um, cause the, this hallway would lead to the throne room. So we're going to make large hall I'm gonna make that happen and we're gonna wreck it because it would normally connect right there but things have been uh, made much worse <laughs> and uh, Nothing's. Nobody's having a good time in this castle because everyone's dead. In fact, what I could do is take this one, tilt it down and twist it a little bit and then rubble pile ceiling There we go. That's blocked off. And we'll have another one of these right there. There we go. I was going to say it looks good, but no, it doesn't. <laughs> So then I'm actually going to save and then I'll build the throne room in that tower, which I'm calling the Royal Tower. Um, and while that's doing its thing, we're going to complete our uh, process of embiggening objects for the Minish Dungeon. For those of you who are not aware, I am working on like two separate projects at the same time in Relics of Hyrule. One is Lowrule Castle, but then the other is um, a Minish dungeon where you get shrunken down and 
are running around a house that would normally be normal sized as you would expect you know but you have been shrunken so I have to make a bunch of assets that are giant to sell the illusion that you are small the lid. I don't think I need Chesto 1. I think I'll get rid of that. I do need chest open. Yeah, the bones one, I'm really happy with how that turned out. Um, I think that's my favorite of the uh, the new Minish Dungeons. This one's going to be really cool, too, because it's a full house. Big old Gregory house. There's still a lot to go. How many do I have left? 52. Cool. So first I have to embiggen all of these. And then I have to... Oh, messed that one up. I have to change the collision on all of them because Skyrim... It is definitely worth it. Like it'll be very, very, it'll be very worth it um, to have all this, you know, realized. It really is like, um, like any other artistic project that requires tedium, like. painting the like the intricate brushwork and the attention to detail so like these little things that seem really mundane and pointless like these tiny details are important to the end result Yeah, if it wasn't for this, then the big Minish house would be big and empty, and it would be, you know, it wouldn't be as fun. It wouldn't be as interesting or rewarding for either me or the players. As Ron Swanson once said, don't half-ass two things, whole-ass one thing. Wow, you're still saving. All right, we represent the Lollipop Guild. How many are left? 43. Okay, we're making progress. Oh, dear. Okay, okay. Everything. I see. Alright. So actually, like, that could... Yeah. <laughs> it opens a little bit. <laughs> so it still has animation. But... Hmm. 
I wonder. What? We're not going to worry about that. I don't even know if that one's necessary. But it's in the, the folder, so it might be important. Right, I keep forgetting. Once this finishes saving, which it better be doing, um, once this finishes saving, I need to um, I need to fix one of the hint notes because I think it's pointing to the wrong location. Is saving making me nervous These pieces are the most important. Oh, jeez. Hold up. Did I already do that one? I think I already did this one. Yeah, this one's already done. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense, because they're all March... Double and big, it's absolutely enormous. All right, I just have to process them. It's, the collision hasn't been processed. So now, how many do I have left? 35. Okay, we're making good headway. We should be able to embiggen all of them by the end of this stream. Okay, before I move on, I need to look at a hint note. It's a new hint note about the light of knowledge in the book of Mudora, is it pointing to the right place? It is not. Yes, yeah, the other edge of the knife. <laughs> It's the lost knife. Lost knife. Ugh. Lost knife hideout exterior. So we're a little baby Jesus map marker. There it is. Okay. All right. That's fixed. I also want to look at the mirror. Now that's a knife. <laughs> you call that a knife? This is a knife. That's a spoon. Oh, I see you've played knifey spoony before. All right. Um, mirror. Falmore note magic mirror. All right, no, that's not it. Uh, low rule. Finish cap, low rule, woods. Hmm. 
No, well, uh, I will ultimately need it. What the hell? Some of those depths. Little, little caves. Little, little caves. Probably in number four. Okay, she can know someone's deaths. Okay. I might rename it. She can know some. Just sort of a keyword low rules in it. Now it's a little clearer. I enjoyed the eclipse immensely. Um, we had a great view and we had a little tiny bit of cloud cover, but it wasn't bad. It was actually good. Um, oh man, that sucks ass that you had 100% cloud cover. We had a little bit, and we actually lucked out because the clouds actually enhanced it. And by that I mean the conditions were enough that as the moon was moving over the sun, it created a 22 degree halo, um, which is like it's a, it's a rainbow that circles the sun. Um, they happen when you have like certain conditions with the clouds and so we lucked out in that regard because not only did we get in the the eclipse um we got to see a 22 degree halo which is like really cool um i wish i was able to see the moon like move in front of the sun and see the diamond ring and the bailey's beads but I was announcing it um, while it was happening. And so I was able, you know, I had to be like, okay, put your eclipse glasses on. Okay, take them off. It's totality now. And then I ran out and looked at totality. Um, but then I had to tell them when they could, when they should put their eclipse glasses back on because you can't just stare at it and then it moves away and then you're blind. Um, so I ran back to the microphone, but I was able to, everything went fine. Um, there was a red dot at the bottom of the eclipse. So you have the black disc and then the white corona, but there was a red dot at the bottom. And I didn't know what that was, and people were asking me what it was. And I'm like, mm -hmm. and I guessed, but I was wrong. It was actually a prominence which is kind of like a solar flare, but it was this bit of plasma that was shooting out from the sun. So we got three different awesome things. We got 22 degree halo before the eclipse. We got totality, which is awesome. Um, and then we got, we saw a prominence, um, which is, they're not like super uncommon, but it's just like a chair cherry a cherry on top fittingly a cherry on top because eclipses are rare and total eclipses are even rarer and then depending on where you live it's even rarer still so having a little extra like 50 50 shot of seeing a prominence is like hmm, chef's kiss um but yeah the the great american eclipse is passed us by but it was an awesome experience i wasn't able to be with my wife at the time but i called her during totality so that we could experience it together i had to work um but 
I wanted to take the day off, but they didn't let me. So, meh. But it was still an absolutely amazing experience. Yeah, NASA streamed it. Um, yeah, bats came out. Streetlights turned on. It was awesome. Um, NASA TV, they had a bunch of different... Um, spots a bunch of different locations through the path of totality and it was really cool being like all right it's in mexico here it comes woo mexico and then like just waves of people texas yeah you know and just like each um group um uh getting to see it and um Yeah, so anyway, it was awesome. It was absolutely amazing. Um, I can see now why people chase those things. Um, why they chase eclipses. Because it's just such a thrill. Um, wouldn't mind seeing another one. But <laughs> probably not going to happen in my lifetime. All right, I need to make a throne room. I was like in the middle of a city, so it was hard for there to be like silence, but people were pretty darn quiet. Um, my wife was home and she said the streetlights turned on and the birds stopped chirping and it was like, because it's, you know, the progression to totality is slow enough and it looks like the sun is setting. So animals are just like, oh, well, <laughs> all right, that was a short day. Time to go to bed, I guess. Whatever. And then, you know, it finishes. Ah, uh, yeah, I think, yeah, I think the next one is in 2026. Um... During the break, well, when I save this, I'm going to take a look um, to see when the next one is because I'm curious. Yeah, certain locations won't see it again for another, like, hundred years. And people kept saying different things. Like, they were like, oh, there's not going to be another one until 2099. Well, is it 2099? No, it's 2093. Okay, well, what is it then? Is it 2099 or 2093? No, it's 2144. What? No, it's 2444. So, like, there's no consistency with, like, what people are saying. There was another funny thing was it's like, oh, you know, uh, parking, no, not parking, um, the traffic is going to be awful, like, you're going to, like, you're going to be stuck here until, like, 8 o'clock, because people will watch the entire eclipse, they're going to stay for the whole time, and then they're going to leave, and it's going to be packed, but what happened was... Totality happened, and then the moon moved out of the way, and everyone went home. <laughs> the eclipse was still happening, and some people were sticking around and watching the moon move away, but people were watching it move to cover the sun, and then once it started moving away and things were back to normal, everyone was like, eh, all right, and then they went home. So like, people were expecting the, the, the highways to be blocked for like 10 hours, um, and it was going to be this horrible thing, but then it was just like, nah, everyone's staying home. Nobody wants to be downtown. Um, the event that my job was running did really well, 
we got a huge amount of people so it wasn't like it wasn't bad or for, by any means um like we were expecting like 50,000 people and we got 30,000 so it's like that's ideal um but uh where the heck is mid there it is um but like we didn't get trapped downtown all right I'm gonna have to rebuild the throne room Plants one in on this. All oh, right, there's this. I'm gonna just copy it because it's easier. Copper, copper. It was really funny though. <laughs> so like. We were doing this big event at my job, um, and everyone was having a great time, and then it was time for everyone to leave, and so people were filing out, and somebody took that opportunity to complain about the museum. <laughs> we're running this huge event, all this stuff happening, and this somebody comes up and just says, you know, your exhibits are awful. Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's just, it was very silly. Anyway, um, Actually, you know what? I This was my idea before the eclipse, but the eclipse actually solidified it. Um, there's no symbol for the Hylian vampires, and I'm kind of on a... I'm kind of building toward, like, they have their own, like, quote-unquote faction, if that makes sense. You know, faction. Um, but I want them to have their own banner so to speak. Like, they're not super organized, but they're more organized than, say, the Cult of Ganon. Um, but they do have a, a goal, and that is to find the Phantom Hourglass to return to Hyrule as it was. They want to travel back in time. And that's not, like, 100% clear. There's bits and bobs of that in the lore. Um, but what I want to do is make a Hylian vampire flag and what I want it to be is let me see if I can um like a circle with the Triforce in it I might try to make this um like properly it's a circle with the Triforce two Triforces in it um and like each tip of the Triforce, the top tip of the top of the Hylian Triforce and the bottom tip of the Lowland Triforce. Actually, maybe I could draw it, quote unquote, draw it. So like, I do need to put the low rule Triforce. So you have the low rule Triforce. Let's use So you have a circle. Let's just have that represent the circle. And then you have one Triforce like this. And then you have another Triforce underneath it like that, um, as you would expect. Like that and the circle is touching 
the edges like that and then this would be lines but the um, this inner part here these would both be black so I guess we had to switch those to the low roll a bit the low rule Triforce decoration. So those are black, and then you have a red, the diamond, the triangles in the middle are red. So you have like a red, you have two black Triforces, you have a circle surrounding them, and then the only color on the whole thing is red hourglass, black triforces, and then like flames around it. So basically, um, it's, I do need this though. It's totality, like a, a total eclipse um, with the corona of the sun colored red and then a black Triforce in the black circle, um, probably with like red lines or something like that so it actually stands out. Um, so like the outline of the Triforce and then a red hourglass in the middle. Um, I might make it really quick during the break so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. Um, so it's sort of like it's reminiscent of a Black Widow, for one thing. Um, but also, that thing in the middle, if you have two, the two Triforces stacked on top of each other, that's the Phantom Hourglass. Um, it's an hourglass shape made from um, the empty space in between the Triforce. So that it's a phantom hourglass, and that's what they're looking for. And then they're vampires, and so, you know, they want the night, or they want an eclipse, just like Harkon wants. Um, so they're looking for the phantom hourglass, and they're looking for darkness, and it's just the perfect symbol, I think. And I might actually use a photograph from the 2024 eclipse to actually make it um, to represent the symbol. All right, take a look at Banner, Michael. Where is that one? There's a banner pole. I can't, I can't find it though. I don't know where it is. There's a banner holder that's like a single spike. Maybe it's in one of the ruptured towers. Static. Winterhold banner post. Why did I? It. Oh my god! I passed it up. Oh man! I can't believe I missed it. Like I was looking all over for it, and it was the only banner post that I didn't look at. This is the. I think this is the best banner post. It looks so good. the wrong keys. Move in. There we go. Okay. That was weird. It moved. <laughs> it animated for a second. Uh, I have to remake. The throne. Oh. Oh, jeez, I need to turn on the lights in the pumpkin cam room. 
It's getting dark. Ah, uh, but I don't want to wake him. Um. So I think I'm gonna. I'll wait until it's time to save. I think I'll save once I make this. This thing. All right. Let's see. Um. Purple. Which one was purple? Was it this? No. There we go. That looks good. That looks good. That looks fine. Okay. save. I'll add the pews in a moment, but I'm gonna, I'm either gonna turn off the banner of uh, pumpkin cam or turn on some lights. There we go, now I got some light on him. He was already awake. Okay, so. I'm gonna look up, first thing I'm gonna do fun to Google. Okay, yeah, but can we see a picture of it? All right, so that's There's the, okay. Uh, 
Oh, it's a web up. Of course it's a web up. Sorry, NASA. Alright, let's open Photoshop. see this idea in f come to fruition here all right adjustments color balance red 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 and then There's another way that I could have done that, and that is this, which is actually worse. Okay, good. <laughs> and then if I take a triangle like so. Rasterize it. of spades. Okay. Like that. And invert that. Like so. Merge that down. Shrink that. So like that's, it's a really rough approximation, but that's what I was going for, for the, the flag. All right. I'm going to save that. <laughs> I also wanted to see when the next eclipse is. Oh, it's done saving. Okay. Um, annular. Okay, so there's a partial eclipse in 2025. So apparently there's a 
an eclipse that will be visible in like Canada and Greenland in 2025. So that's fun. <laughs> All right. could do these. I originally did a different one, but I think I could do these. But they don't have backs. Upper bench. That's what I had done. This is the one I had done originally. Pumpkin looking right at the cam. <laughs> he looked right at the camera and yawned. That's hilarious. Go. And now I just have to put more banners. Also, I just realized these have to be static. Those all have to be static because this is all going to be tilted, so no one's going to be able to sit in it.
There we go. Okay. I'm going to save one more time and I'm going to work on some more of these, which they're all fitting on one page now, so that's good. I have a cookie. If I can open this thing, I can eat it. There we go. Got it. Cookie. We got Dorito Lechonk. I'm, I'm confused. Mm. I see. And agree, a Lechonk is cute. <laughs> I was I've been doing a playthrough of um that's weird. Oh. Of uh, Pokemon Violet using Cats only, and then I have another playthrough that I'm doing where it's um, 
Pokemon with unique abilities. Um, and by that I mean like Pokemon, the Pokemon that have abilities that no other Pokemon across any generation has. And technically, um, Oinkalone, male Oinkalone, has a unique ability in Lingering Aroma, although it's functionally identical to Mummy. Um, so I've been batting back and forth whether to use an Oink alone in that exhibit, or that um, experience, that game, that playthrough. I, ha I also need to get back into Pokemon Infinite Fusion. That one's a lot of fun. Like, it's such an interesting mechanic and adds a new layer of experience to the game and then it's also just a good like enhancement of fire red I just have so much going on I'm playing faster than light or FTL again faster than light I've been playing Fay farm um oh I can't reach it now oh shoot well, where is it? Because I might do another playthrough at some point in my life. Hmm. So I'm route one. Ah. Oh, it's like wiggling. After a fight with rival. Hmm. That should be fine. Well, if I ever start up another playthrough of it, I'll have to look for it. Whatever it is. The one right outside, the one outside Vir Viridian. Okay. But I can always return to that point at some point, right? Um just later in the game or is it like only when you fight that right that one rival fight oh I can't have beaten Brock okay so it's only so I can go back do in that um yeah I, I'll, I might check the wiki um, but something I want to do at some point in my life with that game is the fossils I want to fuse um Omastar I think my starter with Omastar So I think I started with a Charmander and I want to um, fuse him with Omastar so he can be fire water type. It is done. 
I'm going to finish these because I just want them to be done and out of my hair. So I'm just going to finish inflating these. Oh, yeah, it is cool that you can that you can do that. They they just put so much into that and they did it logically. It's not like you can uh shoot Giovanni in the face as soon as you see him cuz that's cool and fun. Um like they it was faithful to the games and like the main thing is the fusion mechanic and then kind of building the game around that um but like they kept it logical and did like quality of life changes that made sense so and then you know stuff that com the community likes like commu um random random randomized and all sorts of stuff and Really well done. Alright, we're getting there. We're almost there. Then I won't have to worry about these and I can just use chunk merge. Ah, oh, shoot. I can just use chunk merge. I bet I missed a couple. I bet a couple are messed up somehow. But I'm not going to worry about it right now. I'm going to just do chunk merge on all of them. And then if they're messed up, then I can go back in and fix them. But I'll use chunk merge as the scanner for that. This one's also wiggly. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. We don't want any wiggles. Where are... There it is. No wiggles. Particle system... Particle system is okay. Alright, let's just see what happens here. All right, I think we're gonna have to disable the pumpkin cam because he might be jumping out. He might be leaving his little home right now or his little seat. Okay. 
that's should be good. One more wardrobe. It's all done. And at some point I'll do that, do the rest of it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select all this and rotate it. Um, so that it matches this tower. So that will be 16. So part of this is dipping in. Like that. So part of it is actually being swallowed by the void. Which is pretty cool. This can't be the way it is, unfortunately. Can't be sittable. Unfortunately, maybe I can make it, maybe I can keep it sittable. might put some rubble so that this is like sitting on some rubble so you can actually sit on it. That's too much. That works. Okay. The rest of it is swallowed up. This one will be gone, that one will be gone, that one will be gone.
I won't be able to do too much with this. Because there's a lot of benches to move. Um, I suppose I could just see. <coughs> that one goes there. good. And then those, well, these, those would all be lost because they would have gone into the void. In fact, everything's kind of tilted that way, so all of these, I think, are lost. Some of them wouldn't be, I think like four of them. These four are okay. Delete these and replace them with the ones that fell over. What you fall over for? I didn't do it on purpose. Forget that one's gigantic. All right, let's do this one. Plot that in the corner. And then we need to seal this with one. So we probably will need rubble pile three. Just orient it. Rubble pile six. Rubble pile six. Right. Put that right there. And then we need that. Turn off that. Rubble Pile 4 is one of my favorites. <laughs> you know you've been modding Skyrim for too long when you have a favorite Rubble Pile. And the Rubble Pile ceiling right here.
also throw in some exterior rubble for a little bit of flavor because they look exactly the same so it all works sounds a little big it's a lot big actually Actually, maybe. Well, trying to find floor raised. Here we go. That looks good. Rubble flat. I'll put rubble piece. No, where's rubble flat though? I also like putting rubble pile on this, <laughs> rubble pile ceiling on the ground like this. Um, it, it adds a little extra dimension to it. I think that's fine. Um, this is going to have to be a a nice hallway or a stair. It'll have to be a stairs down, I think, because otherwise it's going to go into the void. But I'm not going to worry about that right now. Um, this is going to have to be how it is for now. So I'm going to work on those at some point. We finished. the heck do we do? <laughs> I finished this, the throne room, which is going to be part of it, so like you'll have to go in this way and probably down that way. So there's still more to be done. We have this whole tower that I want to do, but it's going to be mostly wrecked. We have the upper floor of this tower. We have this tower as well. So there's still a lot, it's still the most substantial um, low rule shadow pocket. So it's still a lot of work to go. And then I in, uh, enlarged all of the minish stuff that we'll need. I'll have to go through and run chunk merge on all of them, which shouldn't take as long. It's still a little tedious. So didn't it it doesn't seem like a lot happened but a lot happened <laughs> it's still very important stuff and like i mean this is the final minute done uh, the final shadow pocket so it has to be done right um i might add something i might add well maybe something i might add in general to low rule is like braziers that you can light like the uh, fire temple so that you can get a little extra light, but that'll be, that'll have to wait. Um, I'll be able to stream next week. It won't be Relics of Hyrule Development, it'll be something else. Um, 
but I don't think I'll be able to stream. I might not stream on the 29th. I should be able to, maybe, but that's up in the air. So I'll definitely be streaming on the 22nd. May or may not be streaming on the 29th. So anyway, hopefully we'll see you next week. And thank you all so much for coming. Hope you have a good rest of your day. And we'll see you next time. Nope, oh, that's the Discord, and that's not the right button at all.